you know what it tastes like? <laughs> tastes like, hold it in, hold it in. <laughs> Welcome guys and girls to another epic taste test video. I am Ghost Robo, joined by the food connoisseur himself, Noah. Yes. What is up, kind sir? We have a fine assortment of things, both yummy and potentially disastrous, in front of us, all from Whole Foods, healthy, natural, organic, and uh, potentially nightmare inducing. We'll have to see what they do to us this time. We've got popcorn, we've got gummy worms, we've got organic, natural, gluten-free French toast, and rising from row number 36 in the back is the return of Kel Crunch. This time it's the, uh, the original quite cheesy flavors, so yeah, this could be better. It might redeem itself. Disastrous. It could be quite disastrous. So let's jump right in. Thanks so much for all the support on the last one. You guys made this video happen. Hit that like button if you enjoy these taste tests and would like to see more in the future. Right now, though, Noah, you are up. First pick okay. of what we got. All right. Let's see here. Let's go with the gummy worms. Gummy worms are up first. Typically, it's hard to find good tasting organic candy. I feel like organic chocolate kind of knocks it out of the park. But a lot of times, these like things that don't have the typical sugars and sweeteners are a little bit weird. Uh, we decided to go with some Surf Sweets Fruitfully Delicious Naturally Good Gummy Worms made with yeah. organic fruit juice. Um, we're gonna crack open I, this bag. I really don't like gummy things, you know? I just don't, they never really liked me. They never, I don't really like them, they never really liked me. I never like gummy bears or gummy worms. It needs like your the mouth. texture or... I don't like gummy. Colors. I like gummy stuff except the point where it's too chewy and then you get that obsessive habit where you're like, like it. I don't like that. I just don't like you know chewy things. About, you know what I'm talking about where you keep and chewing. And it kind of tastes gross. Like the artificial like worms. Like, Three, know, like, two, one. Oh. It's so chewy. <laughs> I'm doing the chewy thing. I didn't even get any. Ah. 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 It hurts They're my really, teeth. really, really yummy though. Wow, this is the best chewy that I've ever had in my life. <laughs> so good. Gummy. There aren't that many though, like look. <laughs> There's only what? We get two, oh! three, four, five, six, seven, eight worms? Eight worms? Nine, eight wor ten? No, I already counted those two. Oh. I really, really like these. Yum. They have nothing artificial in them at all, and yet they taste delicious. They can make nice earrings, they can make nice mm -hmm. pets, and uh, they, do like have, they do have that chewy thing though, where you're like, it's too chewy. I'll try it, but, but it, it just reaches the line where you can still. Yeah. The outside texture is always really weird going in, but the inside is like the sweet chewy part. I love that. 9.5 out of 10. What do you rate it? I really like do a solid 9 out of 10. Very good. We start off with a bang. Drop it, drop it. No, no, no. <laughs> We're going to get this one out the way pretty quick. It is a uh, raw superfood blue algae nut butter made by Artisana. Now, People that eat like hyper healthy eat these weird nut butters. Like I'm fine with almond butter. Love almond butter. Peanut butter really good as well. Um, blue algae oh, nut butter. Oh, just, like, is just, this gonna taste like the deep blue sea? Because if so, I'm gonna uh, throw away. Right no, now. I don't know. All right. I, I'm guessing you normally spread this on toast or something, but I can't. Oh my oh! god! <laughs> Put some on your finger. No, no, no. Yep. It definitely is from the deep blue sea. Oh God! Oh. Can you see this? No, here, take, here. take a take a scoop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this might be the worst. Oh dear oh God! Oh my God! Come on, nut butter. I look like a little fish in my okay, hand. Okay, could they have not like made it a more disgusting <laughs> color? It's like honestly like puke green. <laughs> it's like Ninja Turtle slime. <laughs> If we eat this, we're going to transform into Bebop and Rocksteady. Oh, I want to be Bebop. I want to be Rocksteady, so it works out. Three, two. I don't want to. Give us oh, strength. it smells awful. <laughs> Three, I honestly do. two. This is what I don't want to do. One. It Ew. It's got like a tang of deep blue no, 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 no. It's butter. No, no, no. You know what it tastes like? Tastes like, hold it in, hold it in. Yes. No! Swallow, swallow, no. no. <laughs> it tastes like poppy seed no. Sure, it looks absolutely vomitrocious, but it tastes kind of like lemon poppy seed muffins. 
Mix with a little seaweed tang, it's high in antioxidants, all natural. I gotta give it a 5 out of 10. Way better than I was anticipating. Really, I kind of think like cashew butter uh -huh. with like someone picked like this little piece of seaweed you <laughs> growing off of this rock. What do you rate it and, though? And put One it in a ten. blender. Okay, so it was really bad, but since it has all the good like antioxidants in it, I give it a one. Oh, so generous, <laughs> sir. Let's wipe away the bad memories with yes. something that should be pretty yummy. This is Himalania Crunch Goji Berries. Uh, cashew crunch flavor with goji berries and dark chocolate. Himalania. I like oh, that. I thought it, Himalania? I thought, I thought it was Himalaya. Well, oh, they are the Himalaya mountains, but this is Himalania Lania crunch goji berry dark chocolate cashew Ooh. combo. If the bag will open itself. Come on, bag. All right, let's see what's inside. Ooh, the little crunch clusters. I always like this kind of stuff, like nut fruit chocolate clusters. Have one pellet for yourself. One pellet. Oh. These look really yummy. I'm hoping that they are mm, delicious yeah. as can be. Smell for, ooh, it smells smell really like, good. Yeah, really like good. All right. Salted almonds. Oh, it's cashews. Three. This says it's the new go delicious snack. Three, two, one. I can't count that. Mmm. Mmm, really good. Yeah. Really, really good. What does it have in it? Mm -hmm. Dry roasted cashews, tapioca syrup, cane sugar, dark chocolate, dried goji berries, Himalayan pink salt. Pink salt? Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. 100% natural. Crunchy little morsels. I like those a lot. Want another one? Yeah, if I can reach inside the bag. There you go. I like these a lot. I don't think they're like my favorite snack. Like caramel corn and stuff like that is better. <laughs> but they're good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I give it solid 7 out of 10. Hold on. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. 7 out of 10 seems like the best score. For this one. Next up we have a brother of a product from last time. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a Booja Cracker Mix. Last time we tried the Booja Spicy Peas that basically tasted like crackers themselves. Yeah. Uh, so this time oh, we're testing out a mix that has crunchy crispy blend of spicy snack nibbles with exotic rice crackers, multigrain noodles, green peas, peanuts, chickpeas, and sultana. So Where's sultana? Sultana. Ooh, alien hair! Mm -hmm. Alright, I think you're just gonna reach in here and take a handful. Cause it's like, gotta mix it up, mix it up, mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. <laughs> Just doing some mixing. Cause it's all alien hairs. <laughs> Come on, give me, I wanna try to get a crunchy, okay, I think I got a good, good I got a good mix, or you can get a, get a good mix of stuff. Mm. Oh, oh God. Don't tell me what it tastes like yet. Was that a good mix? Try it on. <laughs> the pee! The pee! What do you think? Oh, it's like spicy sour crap. It's like, it's as if they put the wrong powder on Chex Mix. <laughs> <laughs> like it got screwed up in the back. You're like, whoops, this isn't the right powder. <laughs> yeah, but not bad. But... I could see it being addictive, just like, um, one after the other. Yeah. I don't not know, not, not my favorite though. No. Probably like a 6 out of 10 for me. Not yeah. my favorite. Nothing, out of 10. nothing gross, but. Yeah. Like I said, it just has like the wrong flavor on it or something. Like all the yeah. crackers and noodles and stuff are fine. But then the spicing, the uh, the stuff on top, not so hot. No. Ooh, Alien Hair! Yeah. I think you're just gonna reach in and get a handful. Because it's like, gotta mix it up, mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. <laughs> just doing some mixing. Next up, we have what we're both most excited to test yes. out, which is these. uh. Wheat and gluten-free, Vans Natural Foods, French Toast Sticks, cinnamon flavored. I love French Toast. It's something that's very hard to do on a gluten-free, wheat-free uh, level. So if these are good, like, yes. yes, they smell super good cooking. It oh, took a it while, so good. it took a while to put them through the toaster. Like I had to go down a couple of times because they're more frozen or whatever. But anyways, um, they look funny because they come out like toast and then you break them into toaster, oh. uh, little, uh, Little French toast sticks. So we're oh gonna, my god, they smell so good. They smell really good. We're gonna dip them in syrup, see if they get the uh, consistency and everything right. Dip it, for douse it, smell. dip it, douse it, go for it. I give it 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10 for smell. Alright, put yours in. Put yours in. Put yours in. Three, two, one. Let's hope it doesn't taste like foam. Feeling a little bit like foam. You good? Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, it's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty close. No, it's 
It's there I am. So much cinnamon, which is awesome. I love yeah, cinnamon. Like I so love good. apple cinnamon stuff. I love like cinnamon, cinnamon like crumbles on top of cakes and coffee um, cake. This hits the spot. This is really, really good. Mm, yeah. These are really yummy. Mm, I and it's know. so perfect with syrup. Oh yeah. I think we just found something we really, really like. Yeah, definitely. Most definitely. This is my favorite thing we tasted today, by far. So I think we basically both know what we're gonna give it, but 10 out of 10? Definitely. Mmm, good. Good stuff. Yeah. I think they had other flavors as well. There's pancakes, there's waffles. We're gonna have to try some more of these out. Vans Natural Foods, gluten free, wheat free. I love you. I love you. I want to kiss and hug you. All right. <laughs> this popcorn is uh, made of very tiny uh, but mighty little uh, kernels. It's the kind of popcorn that you pop and then there's no. Uh, shell kernel residue, and this is sort of their pre pop, uh, what is it, white cheddar version. Um, so let's open it and find out um, how it is. It smells cheddary. Mm -hmm. I really like like cheesy popcorn, cheesy puffs, cheesy yeah, things like that. Yeah, remember that stuff with the big corn on it that we used to get? The cheddar popcorn? Oh, really the cheddar popcorn with the big corn? That's <laughs> a big corn on the I have one. no idea what you talking about. The brand for this is. Corn. Tiny But Mighty Popcorn, Ancient Heirloom Popcorn, outrageously delicious, made in Iowa. Caution. This, this will change the way you think about popcorn forever. Let's see if it does that for us. I'll take a little handful. I'll take a little handful. It's made by Farmer Gene. He's on the back, if you can see him. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. I like it. It's not as cheesy as I would like. True. I don't want it to be like overly cheesy, like yeah. gross Cheeto cheesy. Yeah. Nacho cheesy, something like that. But I would like a little bit more white cheddar on there. Yeah. Other than that though, I like the tiny little form factor. It's easier to eat a couple oh. of them, not feel like you're like. Yeah, if but... you eat a lot though, I kind of it's like. If you eat a lot of them, yeah. then it just ruins it. Too much ruins <laughs> yeah. the flavor for Noah. I, I like it a lot. I would give it a solid like 8 out of 10. Like I said, more cheese would be nice, but um, if we look at the yeah. ingredients, it's just popcorn, cheddar powder, uh, cheddar. some sunflower oil, sea salt. It does contain milk, which normally we don't eat, but in in little tiny amounts, it should be it should be okay. And it tastes it tastes really good. They have yeah. other flavors as well with this. We're really big popcorn people. Like I still love movie popcorn, even though it's not great for you in any way, shape, or form. Uh, when we like we saw Wolverine yesterday, and we go ham on the popcorn, yeah. especially me and you and our family. So, what do you think of this? Could it replace movie popcorn for you? Like, could you bring this in your backpack into a movie and, and be fine? No. 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 What's it lacking? What's it missing? It's missing. Like crunch, maybe. No, it's pretty crunchy. I, I feel like it's, it's a little bit soft. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just like movie popcorn the best. No, it just he can't be tamed. He's gonna be a movie popcorn freak forever. That's fine, cause. Movie popcorn rocks. Yeah, that's why. Bam. We've got another gummy goodness for you. This time in box and bear form. These are Fruity Bears Let's Do Organic Gummies Ooh. with organic juices, jelly on jelly. What does it have in it? They look like they almost have like sugar or something or sour yeah, stuff. Yeah, like, I feel like it's gonna be like sour stuff. On the coming. outside, I don't know. We'll have to compare these to the uh, the gummy worms. Oh, is that all that's in there? Now they kind of look like <laughs> disgusting, <laughs> soggy like cereals. <laughs> Why are they all like, yellow? It, you know what it looks like? It looks Why? like McDonald's chicken nuggets if they had all the air sucked out of them. <laughs> oh, come on. Hopefully they taste better than they look. There's one for you. Ew, they're like mushy. This is not a bear. <laughs> it's more like a... Three, two, one. That's really weird. <laughs> it's like... It, all it is is like it's like just, something sour, but like <laughs> just sugar on it. Ew. It tastes like a little bit stale honey and sugar <laughs> <laughs> being pushed into your mouth. Yeah. It's, there's no chewiness. It's just like it, oh. like just dis it's disintegrating in my hands. I can't even look at that. It's like just uh, it's like it honestly tastes like batter. Like <laughs> I said, dehydrated chicken nuggets, and that's kind of what it is. Like it's really weird, like uncooked cookie dough, but grosser. Why do you need another one? Those are not making me happy. <laughs> Two. Three out of ten. Two. <laughs> <coughs> 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 
Now, the moment of truth is upon us. We're giving this guy a second chance. We don't yep. want to be one to discriminate here. So, right. Kale Crunch makes it ah! this time in quite cheesy uh, oh, flavoring. Oh, it looks worse, I think. <laughs> Last time, uh, our day was pretty much ruined by this stuff. So, oh. we're going to open this guy up. Today, Blue Algae was ruined. Yeah, Blue by... Algae was yucky. <laughs> Could this be worse than Blue Algae? I don't know if that's oh, possible. I don't know. But we shall see. Pretty dang I'm going to give you the first sniff. No, no, no. Okay, first sniff. Okay, I thought you meant first taste. For sniff. It smells the same. It's like Dang it. <laughs> Why again? Whoever eats this I think, stuff. I, I think they just lie about the flavor. It's like, oh, quite cheesy. Target on each other. No, it's just kale with like cheese in the mouth. And it's so gross. Yeah. All right. I, I don't understand how people eat this. Like, they make different flavors. No, bigger one, bigger one, bigger one. Okay, I'll take that one. <laughs> you can have this guy. Oh god, it looks like a evil broccoli yeah, that's flat. This is our great uh wait, wait, okay, listen listen to this. Quite cheesy. Rich cheddar flavor without the cheese. This is not cheese, this is something else. Organic kale, red bell peppers, organic cashews, organic lemon juice, organic nutritional yeast. Oh yeast, Himalayan, more Himalaya stuff, crystal salt, and chia seeds again. Alright, Noah. No. Last time ended so poorly, I'm really apprehensive. Like, my stomach is like, <laughs> like, premonitioning. I think so. Yeah, mine too. And hurting. It's weird. And feeling gross. All right, pull yourself together, ghost. <clears throat> you ready? Arms locked. Three, two, try to hold it down. One. I'm not. If it's gross, I'm not. <laughs> I don't want to taste it. <laughs> Why does it make me so like hot and sweaty when I eat this stuff? Because <laughs> it's disgusting. I don't even know what to grab. <laughs> That's some popcorn. No, 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 no. Yeah. I like French toast steak. Oh. I'm never eating that stuff again. I don't care if we do 50 more taste test videos. We are never trying no. another flavor nope. of Cal Crunch. Nope. Never. It's like an insult to foods everywhere. <laughs> yes. It's a disgrace Ooh. to healthy eaters. Yeah. It's all over the table. Again. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was too bad. Zero I, out of ten. <laughs> it was worse than last time. It I was. Mean, it's worse than Blue Allergy. This was the worst flavor. My part. They're like rich cheddar flavor without the cheese. <laughs> so what is on it? Well, that's enough to make me, you, and Noah sick. So let's talk about some of our actual favorite things that don't destroy our taste buds. I really like the French toast sticks quite a bit. What about you? That was definitely my favorite. And the gummy worms were really surprisingly Ooh, good. Yeah, very good. Gummy bears, eh, not so much. Uh, Himalayan gummy bears, they were pretty good. Like a solid yeah. snack. Uh, the Booja cracker mix was good, just with the wrong spices on top. Gummy bears. Oh, gummy yeah, bears were, yeah, really off. Your algae was disgusting. And then the popcorn was yummy. Even if it's not a full popcorn placement, I like that a lot better than plenty of other uh, all-natural alternatives. It's really kind of a process to find foods that are super healthy and super yummy, and we are working through it with you guys. So that is going to do it for the video. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this taste test, hit that like button, add to your favorites, let us know in the comments below what you thought. And if you want to see another one, we'll try and bring Jake along for a three-person Taste yeah, test extravaganza. Cool. Do not eat kale crunch. Number one. Number Do not one. eat kale crunch. Three rules of like never eat kale crunch. Do not eat kale crunch. No. That's all three. Yeah, basically. That's, it. That's, That's basically That's your uh, your saving grace. It has been a pleasure as always, Noah, the greatest food reviewer this side of 12 years old. Thanks so much for watching, guys and girls. Until next time, oh, my PO box is now open. Address in the description below. But thanks so much once again. Have a fantastic day. Drink some hot chocolate. Until next time. We will see you all later. Later. Man, this guy is so lucky. Cupcakes and birthday cakes. I want to be a shark. Yeah. What gives? Pow!